Africa has had a history, a history that has a lot of dark pages. But Africa also has a future, a future that has a lot of brilliance. And I think, and I have no doubt whatsoever, that the future of Africa is bright, that the future of Africa is promising, that the silence of the guns that we're seeing from South Africa after apartheid, the, the changes in uh, Zimbabwe, in Namibia, in all the countries that uh, have gone through armed conflict, Angola and others, are rapidly and systematically becoming a shining example on how a continent properly focused and properly working together can truly look to the future with confidence, with brilliance and with hope. And that's what Africa is looking at. And in this year of peace, we must actualize and realize these dreams for our people. Many things, democracy, sustainable use of our resources, particularly managing our environment, respect for human rights, equitable distribution of resources, including uh, attention to women, children, the marginalized groups, so that everybody has a sense of not just ownership, but belonging to the stakes of this continent. Once we do that, there will be no problem. But any degree of level of exclusion, however minor, will become a problem because the excluded will fight back. And when they fight, become, they become a nuisance, and they become a problem. And eventually, they can consume the state.